there friends and good morning papa welcome to another mount video in today's video we are going after the rare mount the gray riding camel now what makes this a rare mount is according to wowhead only nine percent of their profile base has this mount so I guess in that book, it makes it a rare mount. Now, the Great Riding Camel does fall in the realm of like the time lost proto drag to where this might take you a while to end up acquiring. So with that said, I want to give you a bit of information to help you hopefully obtain the Great Riding Camel much faster. Step one for finding this mount is you are going to be looking for mysterious camel figurines. To make your life much easier in finding these, I suggest that you go online and you get an add-on for marking your map for the spawn locations for these figurines. Now I am using Handy Notes Mysterious Camel Figurine add-on. I'll leave a link down for it in the description below if you're interested in finding that for yourself. But this just ends up marking your map so you know where everything is at. Next, you need to go into your settings, into gameplay interface, and you need to turn on Hostile Quest and Interactive NPCs because these figurines count as NPCs so this will end up putting their nameplate in green so it's going to make it much easier for you to just fly over and see if it's there or not. The last thing that I want to point out is that according to Wowhead these figurines spawn in every two to eight hours so once you end up finding one it's going to either be two to eight hours somewhere in that time frame for the next one to spawn. Now when I was doing this video if I found one of these figurines in the day I never found another one. So it's kind of, I'm not really sure, but I kind of had a weird instance. So I'm going to end up explaining more about how I stumbled across my routine for going after this mount. The last thing that I want to stress, stress this as hard as I can, this is RNG. So it might take you a very long time to end up finding the right figurine that'll take you to where you need to go to inquire this mount. So keep that in mind. It's RNG. <laughs> And if you're not sure what RNG is, it's random number generator. So that means that the game is going to randomly generate this. So user, everybody's going to have a different experience. You might have somebody that is going after this mount for years and never come across it. And then you're going to have somebody that will click on a figurine the first time and bam, they get the mount. It's just all random. So please keep that in mind when you come out here that it will potentially take you a while to end up acquiring this mount. All right, that's enough yammer and let's get into this. To get started, you're gonna be in Kalendor and you're gonna head down to the bottom of the map to Oldham. Now, if Battle for Azeroth stuff is active, you wanna come over here to the Timekeeper and have them revert time back to when Cataclysm was a thing. Once you've done that and you have your add-on, this is kind of the flight path that I ended up going for these figurines. I just kind of started on this rock and I just, flew around kind of meandered do whatever feels right for you for how you want to path this out but this just ended up working out really well for me now doing your first time around this flight path you are going to end up taking quite a while to end up doing it but the more you end up doing this the faster you end up blowing through it like my first time going through all of these spots took me about a half an hour but after that it was like maybe 15 20 minutes you know so it's not going to be too strenuous now, this is where I want to just kind of point out some random things that I noticed while I was trying to find these figurines. So the first time I was doing this, it was 4 p.m. ish or 1600 hours, and I am on EU server Defiance Brotherhood. So kind of keep that in mind because that's how I kind of explain a lot of the stuff of how I ended up acquiring this mount. So what I ended up doing was is around this time frame of the day, I did not find any mount whatsoever. And I ended up just landing back on my starting point of my favorite rock. And I just came back the next day. Now, the next day around 8 a.m. ish or 800 hours, depending on how you want to tell time, I came across my first figurine and I was super excited about it, but it wasn't meant to be. I checked back later out throughout the day, but again, like I said at the beginning of the video, I never came across another figurine because you got to keep in mind you're not the only one out here looking for these figurines, so I think that might be why. So the next time I ended up finding a figurine, it was 8.30 a.m.-ish time frame, and again, it wasn't meant to be. I do want to go ahead and say that there were days that I ended up never finding a camel because again, like I said, we're not the only ones that are out here looking for it and that is okay. The next time I stumbled upon a camel, it was 10 o'clock at night 
And that was the first time I had found one in the evening. Then the next time I ended up finding one at 9.30ish, again at nighttime. And I started kind of realizing that if I ended up not finding it in the morning, I would find it in the evening. And again, this fell in the same realm of if I ended up finding one throughout the day, I never found another one. So this kind of became for my server of the best time for me to find it. If I didn't find it at around 8 a.m. in the morning, I would find it around 9.30, 10 o'clock at night. Then, you know, when I definitely thought I had everything figured out, I got thrown a curveball and I found one at 2.45. So I'm like, okay, well, that was odd. But that was the only time I ever found a one of the figurines during that time of day. So here we are at 10 o'clock ish again. And you may have noticed by this point in the video that I have an add on that spawns up how many times I have tried for this figurine. And we are at attempt number seven. Now I wanna stress this, that this might be attempt number seven. And I ended up getting this on attempt number eight, but I had been working on this for over a month. So keep that in mind of how long this ended up taking me to be able to find the right figurine. There were a lot of days where I didn't find anything. Now, once you find the right figurine, it is going to take you to Feralis here in Kalendor. More specifically, it's going to drop you off over here where you are going to end up finding a nice little spa retreat that has been infested with camels. Now, I do want to point out as we spawn into this area, you're going to end up getting a buff called Drum's Rage. This lasts for 20 minutes, so that means you have 20 minutes to end up killing this giant ogre troll. I guess he's a troll, dude sure but i'm on a level 66 and he is only level 35 so it is an insta kill once you end up defeating him and looting his body you are going to end up having some achievements pop up like ooh, fancy shiny then what you want to do is go ahead and open your bag and you are going to end up finding the camel inside your bag so i guess that's another thing to point out make sure that you have at least some bag space for the camel to pop into. And just like that, ta-da! You have yourself the gray riding camel and you can be part of the 9%, which I guess if you end up acquiring it, maybe it'll jump up to 10%. You could be that person. Now getting this mount was actually a lot of fun because I got really excited every time I found a camel like is this the one you know but to make this easier again go get an add-on that'll end up putting these markers for the camel figurines on your map turn on your ability to have all PCs nameplates pop up that way you can end up seeing the camel a lot easier and then what I would end up suggesting is is kind of figuring out when is the best time for you to end up coming here for everybody else. Again, for me coming in here between if I found it in the morning, I never found it again. But if I didn't find it in the morning, I had a higher chance of finding it at night. Also, keep in mind, you can put yourself in war mode, which will phase you from everybody else. So you might have a higher chance of not having a lot of other people in the area looking for the camel figurine as well. Now, when I was ending up doing this, I only ended up seeing one person once in the whole entire month that I was doing this. So I, I guess take it as you will for how popular people are after this. I guess it just depends what server you're on. I do hope that you end up finding the time to come over here and try to acquire the gray riding camel for yourself. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving it a like. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make videos about World of Warcraft every week, a lot about every other day, almost. And I would love to have you here as part of this amazing community. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today. And I look forward to bringing you the next World of Warcraft video here. Bye for now.